take a look at that, folks. This is Ufaga pamilio, the strawberry poison dart frog. So hopefully we can spot one and I can snatch it up for you people at home. Pop on out. Oh, ouch! Ah! Today's adventure brings us to the tropical Central American country of Costa Rica. Costa Rica is home to a variety of different species of wildlife and is among some of the most biodiverse countries in the world. Today we embark to locate a beautiful and toxic frog to showcase just how dangerous these amphibians truly are. Stick around. The answer may surprise you. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today we are in the beautiful northern lowland forests in Costa Rica, and I'm looking for a familiar face. Today, I'm looking for the strawberry poison dart frog, the blue jeans, or Ufaga pumilio. Now, you might recognize this species as being one in my own personal frog collection, so I'm super excited to show you how these animals are in their natural habitat. So let's take a look and see if we can find any strawberry poison dart frogs. Let's go. Now with these bright colors, you'd imagine that these frogs would be extremely easy to spot on the forest floor. However, they are quite small, rarely exceeding about a centimeter in length, about half an inch. So they can be very hard to find, especially if there's plenty of leaves for them to jump into when they sense danger. So it'll be quite the trick in order to not only spot one, but to get to it before it finds a good hiding place. All right, so I can actually hear many males calling. It's that little <laughs> And there's a handful in this clearing here, so hopefully we can spot one and I can snatch it up for you people at home. Ah, here's another. Oh. Oh. Take a look at that, folks. This is Ufaga pamilio, the strawberry poison dart frog. Beautiful, beautiful frogs. Now, these aren't nearly as toxic as their larger cousins in the genus Phyllobates. Those are true dart frogs. Dart frogs can be a bit of a misnomer because that's really a name that we attribute to really all of the dart frog species, all of the poison frogs. However, dart frog refers to the ability of sequestering the toxin of these frogs, placing it on a poison blow dart and hunting prey that way. Now these Ufaga familio are not nearly as toxic so what do you think will happen if I hold one? Take a look here. Pop on out. Oh, ouch! Ah! No, I'm just kidding. These frogs, golly, he's jumping all over the place. These frogs, although poisonous, really can't hurt you. <laughs> so put them underneath your feet. Uh, really can't hurt you just through your skin. If you were to eat one of these frogs, which I don't suggest, um, you would get quite sick. But take a look at that. Oh, beautiful poison dart frog. Ah, he's so cute. Come here. He's like, don't eat me. I'm poisonous. Here, come take a look at this, folks. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful little frog? Now, this species, Pamilio, is super variable across their range. And so we give them little nicknames based off of which color they present. So these ones, as you might imagine, 
are called blue jeans. Take a look at his little legs, his little arms. He looks like he's got uh, little pantalones on. And that's where they get that name, blue jeans. Now, where they get the name Ufaga is super, super interesting. These frogs, although they're not tree frogs, are fairly, fairly equipped to scale large trees up into the canopy to look for bromeliads. Bromeliads are those cup-like plants. There's a handful behind me, and they collect water when it rains just like this. And these frogs will actually raise their tadpoles in the water pockets of these leaves. Now, how would they raise them? These frogs actually bring their tadpoles food. Ufaga means egg eater. The female remembers exactly where she's deposited her little tadpole babies, and she will actually bring them infertile eggs. She will lay infertile eggs in that water pocket, and that's what the baby will, will eat, and that's how she'll raise it. And then when it's ready to metamorphose, it crawls up, crawls up onto the bromeliad leaf, absorbs the rest of its tail, hops down and starts eating all sorts of mites and ants and all sorts of stuff here on the forest floor. Super cool. We're gonna try and catch another one to show you. We're gonna let this one get back on its way. There we go. Now he doesn't wanna jump. Ah, oh, too cool. Now, poison dart frogs are kind of our little treat. And what I mean by that is this entire group of frogs is endemic to Central and South America. Now, what that means is that these animals exist only in the Central and South American forests. So it's really, really special to get to see some of these unique life forms that have perfectly adapted to surviving in these tropical jungles. It's always a treat to see some of these spectacular animals. All right, I've just spotted a calling male here. He's right tucked into the leaves. See him trying to get away. See him successfully getting away. <laughs> All right, got another poison dart frog right here. Easy peasy. Now I want to show you these beautiful colors. So I'm going to transfer this frog over to my little Petri dish. Let's collect a little water in there for him. Wow, just can't seem to, there we go. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Now you can take a look at that beautiful underbelly. Just like the top, this animal's coloration extends down to the belly. These are such beautiful little poison dart frogs and many of these adults will have these kind of tiny fine black spots. Uh oh, black spots on the back of that beautiful red body, giving them that nickname, strawberry poison dart frog. Now, these are some of my absolute favorite species of frog. Uh, one of my all-time favorite localities of this frog to see in the wild. And what's really crazy is that people don't realize just how much species these frogs will eat. These frogs could be feeding on hundreds of species of tiny little invertebrate here on the forest floor. Mites and ants and, and tiny little insect nymphs, all sorts of stuff. So these animals get a very, extremely varied diet while they're kind of poking through this leaf litter around the bases of trees and things like that. But really, really interesting, really beautiful little frogs. And like I said, unless you really put one in your mouth, they're not, uh, they're not dangerous. Now, actually, I don't suggest, I've wetted my hands in preparation for this video, but I don't suggest um, handling these poor frogs, not for your safety, uh, but for theirs. They have very sensitive skin and even the sweat and oils and stuff that's just barely residual on the surface of my skin uh, can agitate 
and even damage the skin of these frogs with enough exposure. Well, we found quite a few of these beautiful, beautiful blue jean Ufaga pamilio strawberry poison dart frogs. I'm super, super excited that we were able to find quite a few, see quite a few individuals, and show you quite a few individuals. So, sadly, our time has come to an end. The rain is starting to pick up. So, we're going to shift our focus, move away from our beautiful, beautiful poison dart frogs. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss future videos that you may like. Of course, buy the merchandise. Again, with our Costa Rica theme, I've got the beautiful hooded mantis. Of course, I had a lot of fun with you. You had a lot of fun with me. I will see you next time. Be sure to tune in for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.